In 1990, a 29-year-old named Ayan began his journey in Tanzania as a dedicated safari guide. With 11 years of experience, he had mastered the art of guiding tourists through the country's breathtaking landscapes and wildlife. One fateful day, a group of researchers with a profound interest in the animals and history of the Tanzanian forest hired Ayan for a tour. Their project was dedicated to studying the fauna and delving into the deep-rooted history of the forest. They had heard of Ayan's reputation as an expert guide who could provide them with invaluable insights. After careful consideration, they decided upon the 24th of March as the date for their expedition, setting their rendezvous time at 9 a.m., when the morning sun bathed the forest in a soft golden light. The appointed day arrived, and Ayan was already at the meeting point, fully prepared to welcome the eager group and guide them through the carefully selected locations. As the clock struck 9 a.m., the researchers arrived punctually, their faces adorned with excitement and curiosity. Ayan led them on a journey to start the day, which had a sense of adventure in the air. They ventured into the heart of the forest, each step taking them deeper into the wilderness. Ayan shared his extensive knowledge, and the group members, both boys and girls, listened with rapt attention. The girls marveled at the breathtaking beauty of the surroundings, while the boys diligently jotted down every piece of information and captured the mesmerizing landscapes on video. The group followed Ayan's lead, their trust in his expertise unwavering. Ayan's connection with nature was palpable, and his profound understanding of the environment was evident in how he spoke about it. It was clear that he was in his element. After some time, they reached a spot in the forest where they could observe the activities of the local animals. The excitement reached its peak as they witnessed the animals in their natural habitat, their behaviors and interactions providing valuable insights for the researchers. The group documented these activities with cameras and notes, ensuring that they had a comprehensive record of their findings. As they settled down to review their observations, an unexpected turn of events left everyone in shock. Ayan had taken a few steps back, providing some space for the group, when a powerful and imposing black rhinoceros suddenly appeared on the scene. The rhino, a magnificent but dangerous creature, had approached with a purpose, its massive frame casting an intimidating shadow. In a horrifying moment, the rhino attacked. With a swift and powerful kick, it struck Ayan, sending him flying to the ground. The impact was devastating, leaving Ayan badly injured and in excruciating pain. The group watched in helpless terror as the rhino stood menacingly over Ayan. Fear and panic seized the group, and they made a frantic retreat to a safer distance. They immediately contacted the forest authorities for help, realizing that Ayan's life was in grave danger. The forest rangers swiftly responded, arriving on the scene to confront the dangerous rhino and provide emergency assistance to Ayan. The situation was dire, and Ayan's injuries were severe. He was promptly transported to a hospital, where a team of dedicated doctors worked tirelessly to stabilize his condition. Despite their best efforts, Ayan had lost a significant amount of blood and suffered internal injuries. His life hung in the balance. Tragically, Ayan's battle for survival ended in heartbreak. The news of the beloved safari guide's demise spread like wildfire, leaving his family, friends, and the entire community in mourning. It was a cruel and painful reminder of the risks faced by those who dedicated their lives to exploring and protecting the natural world. The loss of Ayan's son and brother in particular had a significant impact on their family. The memory of that fateful day haunted them, and they could never truly forget the horrific attack that had taken him from them. The people who had the privilege of knowing Ayan mourned the loss of a remarkable young man whose passion for nature knew no bounds. The story of Ayan's untimely death reverberated through the media, shining a spotlight on the dangers that lurked in the wild, even for those who possessed extensive knowledge and experience. In the history of Tanzania, there's a remarkable story of a young girl named Sana. At 23 years old, Sana hails from a middle-class family and is pursuing her education at a university in Tanzania. She possessed a deep passion for learning, but she also had the unique ambition of working as a safari guide to support her studies and, in turn, her family. Sana's life was a balance between her academic aspirations and her love for the wild, and this story unfolds the extraordinary journey she embarked upon. 
Sana's enthusiasm for her studies and a part-time job as a safari guide was the foundation upon which her life rested. The duality of her existence allowed her to find joy both in the pursuit of knowledge and in the wilderness of Tanzania, a land known for its stunning landscapes and abundant wildlife. Her desire to contribute to her family's financial well-being through her job as a safari guide was a testament to her dedication and love for her loved ones. One day, as the Tanzanian University was about to close for a break, Sana's closest group of friends approached her with a unique idea. They shared a dream of going on a tour with Sana through the captivating Tanzanian forests to witness her work as a safari guide. The plan was to experience the intricacies of her job, understand what it meant to be a safari guide, and share in her passion for the wilderness. The date chosen for this exciting adventure was February 21st to Sunday, making it an ideal holiday for such an escapade. As the chosen day arrived, the excitement among Sana and her friends was palpable. They converged at a pre-selected location and picked Sana up from her home. Their journey commenced with music and laughter as they looked forward to a day of adventure and exploration. Sana, behind the wheel of the safari jeep, navigated them through the Tanzanian terrain, ultimately arriving at a pristine location within the forest. Once they reached the forest, their spirits soared. The group decided to traverse the area on foot, absorbing the natural beauty of the landscape. They followed in Sana's footsteps as she guided them to various points of interest, sharing her knowledge and enthusiasm about the fauna and flora surrounding them. During their walk, Sana and her friends had the opportunity to meet other safari guides and forest staff who were intimately familiar with the region. These encounters further enriched their understanding of the environment and the role of safari guides in preserving it. Sana's friends eagerly embraced the experiences as they realized the profound connection between the guides, the forest, and its inhabitants. Stops to take pictures of the breathtaking moments that broke up their exploration. However, it was during one such pause that an unexpected and perilous encounter transpired. Suddenly, a dangerous rhinoceros emerged from the forest, drawing near to the group. Panic rippled through the friends as they locked eyes with the massive and potentially deadly animal. In that heart-stopping moment, fear gripped their souls, and their eyes filled with tears at the sight of the approaching rhino. It was at this critical juncture that Sana exhibited remarkable bravery. She positioned herself in front of her friends, understanding the gravity of the situation. Sana knew that the rhino might be hungry or agitated, and she resolved to protect her friends, even at great personal risk. As the friends watched in awe and terror, the rhino charged forward, inflicting a severe injury on Sana's body. She fought valiantly to control the raging beast, doing everything she could to shield her friends from harm. Despite her efforts, the rhino's attack had dire consequences leaving Sana in agonizing pain and seriously wounded. Desperate for help, her friends immediately called the park's emergency hotline, providing their exact location. In the wake of the attack, the rhino retreated into the depths of the forest, and the friends rushed to Sana's side, their hearts heavy with fear and concern. Within moments, forest staff arrived on the scene to assess the situation. Recognizing the severity of Sana's injuries, they swiftly called for medical assistance. Sana was carefully transported to a nearby hospital, where her friends anxiously awaited news of her condition. The atmosphere was thick with shock and despair as they grappled with the sudden turn of events. Upon her arrival at the hospital, doctors immediately began treating Sana's wounds. The extent of the damage was evident, and it became apparent that her leg had suffered a grievous injury, leaving her unable to walk. Despite their best efforts, the medical professionals delivered the somber news to Sana's family and friends that the rhino's attack had left a lasting impact on her mobility. The news weighed heavily on those who cared about Sana, and the journey ahead appeared fraught with challenges and uncertainties. In conclusion, Sana's journey is a testament to the unique blend of courage, love for nature, and devotion to her loved ones that define her character. Her story highlights the profound connection between humanity and the wild, it serves as a reminder of the ongoing efforts needed to protect and conserve the incredible natural heritage of Tanzania. There was a man named Jack who was 34 years old, and he worked as a safari guide in the lush Tanzanian forests for many years. Jack had accumulated a wealth of knowledge about the wilderness and its inhabitants during his time as a guide. 
However, his life took a tragic turn when he lost his beloved wife. Jack's world crumbled when he had to say goodbye to his wife. The grief was so overwhelming that he found it increasingly difficult to carry on with his job. He withdrew from friends and acquaintances and his days became a monotonous routine of solitude. Jack's once bright spirit had dimmed due to the loss and he found little solace in the wilderness he had so dearly loved. One day, some of Jack's closest friends decided to visit him. They were deeply concerned about his well-being and knew that he needed a change in his life to break free from the grip of grief. After much discussion and brainstorming, they devised a plan to help their dear friend. The plan they hatched involved revisiting the place where Jack had spent countless hours as a safari guide, the Tanzanian forest. The friends believed that revisiting this environment, previously a source of joy and wonder for Jack, might aid in his healing process and reignite his lost sense of purpose. With Jack initially resistant to the idea, his friends worked tirelessly to convince him that the adventure they had planned was not just about their happiness, but also about his well-being. They assured him that the journey would be a chance to reconnect with his passion for the wilderness, relive fond memories, and find solace in the beauty of nature. The agreed-upon date for this excursion was Sunday, July 9th. As the days passed, anticipation grew among the friends, eager to see the spark return to Jack's eyes. On the Saturday night before the trip, Jack carefully packed a small bag with the essential items he would need for their adventure. The much-awaited day arrived with a sense of excitement in the air. Jack's friends, ready to embark on their journey of support and discovery, arrived at his doorstep at 9 a.m. Their enthusiasm was contagious and Jack couldn't help but be swept up in their spirit as they set off on their expedition. Jack's former co-workers from his days as a safari guide welcomed him when he arrived in the Tanzanian forest. It had been a long time since he had seen them, and their reunion brought a genuine smile to his face. The forest held countless memories of shared experiences and challenges, and Jack felt a deep nostalgia wash over him. As the group explored different areas of the forest, Jack's passion for wildlife and his knowledge of the terrain began to shine through. He led his friends to various spots, sharing stories of the animals he had encountered and the adventures he had embarked on. The friends listened with rapt attention, recognizing the transformation in Jack's demeanor as he spoke. During one particular moment, Jack ventured closer to the area where he believed they might spot some animals. His friends stood at a distance, engrossed in taking photographs of the enchanting surroundings. Unbeknownst to Jack, a dangerous black rhinoceros approached. The rhino, with its massive frame and formidable presence, went unnoticed by Jack as he focused on tracking other animals. Suddenly, the rhino charged, its immense power and speed making it impossible for Jack to react quickly. With a forceful kick, the rhino struck Jack, sending him flying to the ground. The impact was devastating, and Jack cried out in agony as his body bore the full brunt of the attack. Hearing Jack's cries for help, his friends turned their attention to the horrifying scene before them. Panic and fear gripped their hearts as they witnessed the gruesome encounter. They desperately called for assistance, realizing that Jack's life was hanging by a thread. Fortunately, the cries for help did not go unanswered. The forest rangers, well trained in handling such emergencies, immediately rushed to the scene. They were armed with the knowledge and experience required to confront the unpredictable behavior of wild animals. The rangers swiftly intervened, working together to control the enraged rhino. Their efforts were heroic as they managed to subdue the powerful beast, ensuring that it no longer posed a threat to Jack or anyone else. With the rhino contained, they could then focus on attending to the gravely injured man. Jack's condition was critical. He had suffered severe internal injuries, including blood loss and trauma to his body. It was evident that immediate medical attention was crucial to his survival. With great urgency, the rangers arranged for Jack to be transported to the nearest medical facility. The doctors at the hospital were confronted with the challenge of stabilizing Jack's condition. His body had sustained tremendous damage, and he was in a critical state. The medical team worked tirelessly to address his injuries, conducting surgeries and administering blood transfusions. Jack's journey to recovery would prove to be arduous and lengthy. For five grueling months, Jack remained in the hospital, battling not only physical pain, but also emotional trauma. His friends, who had been with him from the moment of the attack, stood by his side throughout his ordeal. They watched Jack slowly regain strength, marveling at his resilience and determination. 
The friends had never anticipated such a turn of events when they had planned their expedition to help Jack heal. The forest, once a place of wonder and adventure, had become the site of a life-altering tragedy. Yet they were unwavering in their support for their dear friend. The news of Jack's ordeal had spread far and wide, and people from all walks of life offered their blessings and encouragement. Strangers and well-wishers sent their thoughts and prayers, hoping for Jack's swift recovery. For Jack, the journey of recovery was a daunting one. His body bore the scars of the rhino's attack, but his spirit remained unbroken. He drew strength from the love and support of his friends and the memories of the beautiful wilderness that had once been his home. The ordeal had not only tested his physical strength, but also his emotional resilience. In the end, it was the support of his friends and the dedicated care of the medical professionals who saw Jack through the darkest days of his life. Slowly but surely, he began to regain his mobility, and with time his passion for the wilderness rekindled. The forest, which had brought both joy and sorrow to Jack's life, now held a special place in his heart. It was a place of healing, a symbol of his triumph over adversity and a reminder of the enduring bond between friends who refused to let him face his struggles alone. As Jack continued on his path to recovery, he discovered a new purpose in life. He wanted to share his story, not as a cautionary tale of danger, but as a testament to the strength of the human spirit. He became an advocate for wildlife conservation and the importance of preserving the natural world that had once been his sanctuary. In the history of Tanzania, there was a young girl named Ava who worked as a safari guide in a Tanzanian national park. Ava, at the age of 21, was a passionate and dedicated individual who had chosen this career path. She gained a reputation as one of the most famous safari guides in Tanzania due to her hardworking nature and her love for wildlife. Ava's journey into the world of safari guiding began at a young age. She was always enamored with the wonder and beauty of the natural world because she grew up in a small village close to the national park. Her parents, who were park rangers, instilled in her a deep appreciation for the flora and fauna of Tanzania. As a child, she would often accompany her parents on their missions in the park, learning about the animals and the delicate balance of the ecosystem. It was during these formative years that Ava's love for wildlife and her dream of becoming a safari guide took root. After completing her education, Ava pursued her dream with resolute determination. She underwent rigorous training, studying the park's geography, its diverse animal species, and the complex interactions between them. Ava was a quick learner and soon became known among her instructors for her passion and dedication. She passed her exams with flying colors and earned her safari guide license at the age of 20, making her one of the youngest licensed guides in the park's history. One day, a famous businessman, Mr. Richard Bradford, known for his various enterprises and philanthropic activities, decided to hire Ava as his tour guide to visit the National Park with his family. Mr. Bradford had heard about Ava's remarkable skills and love for wildlife from a colleague who had previously been on one of his tours. He believed Ava was the perfect guide to provide his family with an authentic and memorable experience in the heart of Tanzania's wilderness. He contacted Ava and arranged for the tour to take place on the 9th of June, coinciding with a special occasion for his family. Ava gladly agreed to join them on this exciting adventure. She felt honored to be chosen as the guide for such a prestigious family, and she knew that this opportunity would further solidify her reputation as a top safari guide. The eagerly anticipated day arrived, and in the early morning the Bradford family arrived at the park. They were introduced to Ava, and they discussed the places they would be visiting during the tour. Ava took charge, shouldering the responsibility of carrying their bags, and began guiding the family through the park, providing them with information about the various animals and their habitats. The children in the Bradford family, Emily and James, were especially excited to see the wildlife up close. They had grown up hearing stories about Africa's magnificent creatures, and now they were living their dream. They marveled at the different animals, from the elegant giraffes to the playful zebras, and couldn't contain their enthusiasm. As they explored various parts of the park, their excitement grew, and they eagerly snapped pictures of the exotic wildlife. Eventually, they reached an area with a black rhino, a majestic yet dangerous creature. The rhino's enormous presence enamored the children as the family started taking pictures with the animals. The children, 
carried away by their excitement, wandered dangerously close to the black rhino, unaware of the potential danger they were in. Observing this, Ava immediately recognized the perilous situation they had unintentionally entered. She cried out to them, urgently trying to get them to move to a safer spot. The black rhino, sensing a threat, showed signs of aggression and was ready to charge. Ava knew that she had to act swiftly to protect the children. She ran in front of them, attempting to shield them from the charging rhino. In her brave attempt to keep the children safe, the rhino struck her with tremendous force, causing severe injuries. The businessman, fearing for his family's safety, quickly ushered them to a safer location. Ava was left alone, injured and in pain, as the rhino continued to pose a threat. The businessman immediately contacted the park staff, explaining the dire situation and requesting immediate assistance. The park staff responded rapidly, arriving at the scene to confront the aggressive rhino. Their intervention successfully diverted the rhino's attention from Ava and toward them. Ultimately, the rhino lost its own life due to the dangerous encounter. Ava's condition was critical and the family, who had been left deeply distraught by the tragic turn of events, watched helplessly. Ava was rushed to the nearest medical facility, where a team of skilled doctors and nurses worked tirelessly to save her life. Despite their best efforts, the injuries were too severe, and Ava passed away, leaving behind a legacy of bravery and devotion to her work. The news of Ava's loss shocked her family and friends. The famous Ava, the safari guide known for her dedication and passion for her work, tragically lost her life in a sudden and ferocious rhino attack. People from all walks of life attended her funeral, and the entire community was in mourning over her passing. Ava's sacrifice will forever be remembered as a testament to her bravery and love for the wildlife of Tanzania. The incident had a significant impact on the businessman, Mr. Richard Bradford and his family, who promised to support wildlife conservation initiatives in memory of Ava. They established a foundation dedicated to preserving the natural beauty of Tanzania and ensuring the safety of its majestic creatures. Ava's legacy inspired young individuals who aspired to become safari guides. Her story became a symbol of selflessness and dedication, a reminder of the risks that safari guides face every day while working to protect both wildlife and tourists. The Tanzanian government recognized Ava's contributions to wildlife conservation and posthumously awarded her a national honor for her exceptional bravery.